Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix that color wash on the Dell D27HGF monitor. So, it's really simple. All you gotta do is right click on your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, I gotta bring it to the other side, there you go. So, Dell monitor, NVIDIA settings, right here, you click on that, now click on this, it works, plus 45, plus 55 on the brightness and contrast, that has helped me fix this problem. Also, on the resolution section, when you get the monitor, it usually connects to this one, 1080p, 1920 by 1080, but you're only going to see 60 hertz. You have to go to the PC 1920 by 1080, and then you can see all these refresh rates. Now, let's see what happens if I go back to the native. There you go. Look what shows. 50, 59, 60. You, you select this, or if you get it and that's what happens, it's going to look super washed out. It's going to look gray. It's going to look nasty. You're going to be like, what did I just get? This is not what I signed up for. So, simple. Select this one, and look what happens. All these refreshes open up. 144, hit apply, you're good to go. That will fix, I believe, most of your problems with the color wash and the Hertz situation. Also, in the adjust desktop size and position, just make sure it's with the aspect ratio. Make sure it's not zoomed in or anything. You can see everything lined up right here. Um, just because sometimes if this is changed, if it's on full screen, you're gonna, you know, it'll it'll crop up some stuff and it won't look clear. It'll look blurry. Um, the scaling also could be affecting, you know, what people are describing as, you know, an image that's not clear, uh, cut off image. So just select this one, the aspect ratio, and that should fix your situation. Now remember, you have to, you have to have an HDMI 2.0 output which your graphics card has to be able to do which is the Aorus does it um, a lot of um, laptops do it just make sure it's HDMI 2.0 output you know compatibility it just means you'll, it'll work with an HDMI 2.0 monitor just make sure it's really a real HDMI 2.0 uh, all these motherboards sometimes are 1.4b 1.4 uh, uh, they won't they won't be HDMI 2.0 so if you just want to, you know, peace of mind, just make sure everything is HDMI 2.0 to get the 144 at 1080p and you'll be good to go. Also with the HDF monitor, I just was retesting all the headphone and the headphone jack sound input, sound outputs. And, you know, I do stand by my original, I guess, discovery that the audio from the speakers is not the best now is it like the most worst you know the most terrible speakers I've ever heard in, in my life well from all the stuff that I have yes it's the worst thing currently that I have with sound quality now okay well let's just say okay well then just connect your headphones to the output uh, headphone jack which is on the back of the monitor next to the power cord so that's weird so I did that and it's even it's even worse than hearing the speakers to me now i have heard other reports on even on the comments that you know they've gotten it to work and they think it's you know sounds really good to them and that's awesome uh, maybe my monitor is bad um maybe my setup is wrong or something but you know i'm fairly good with all my setup so i don't think that's the problem uh, maybe it's you know either the the headphone output on my monitor is really bad that's why i always say make sure you buy it from a place that you can return if you want to um if you need to if, it's, if you're not happy with it um, after your testing. But in my situation, I'm really picky. And I believe, you know, either my monitor is bad with the headphone output, or I'm just like really picky. And you know, that's just the worst thing that I've heard. Um, so then what I did was I, I connected my BenQ monitor to see the, the difference. Now the, Bet, the BenQ monitor is not that good either, but it is an improvement over the Dell version, the, out, the headphone jack. So I would say, if you wanted to rate everything, I would say if you connect your headphones 
to a sound card, it's 100%, right? Because you get all that processing, Dolby Live, all that stuff. You know, Dolby Digital, 7.1, you know, whatever. Sound card would be at 100%. Uh, 70% would be connecting it to your motherboard because there is a drop in quality, especially depending on the headphones, you know, if you have to have uh, like a, the power to, you know, produce the sound to your headphones. If, if you have, so I would say that the um, sound card is 100% in quality then you connect it to your motherboard that's like what 70 percent quality then if you connect it to the ben well you know what if you connect it to the sound card is a hundred percent if you connect it to the motherboard i want to say 80 to 70 percent because this black widow elite keyboard is really really good in transferring that um common sense it's it's more connection right it's because it's it's the connection to the motherboard to the keyboard um, if I, ha I, I don't have currently right now my sound card with it, I mean, I, tr I disconnected it because of the riser position, but right now connected to the motherboard, it sounds just as good as connecting it to the motherboard. So it's going to sound just as good connecting it to the sound card, I believe, from the key, from the sound card to the keyboard. So that's a very good, you know, thing to have, you know, a headphone pass through with the keyboard. The, the Black Widow Elite has it. The Huntsman doesn't, which is a bummer, right? But that's why I'm happy with the Black Widow Elite. Um, it comes in really handy. Also, it has a USB connection um, so I can connect my mouse there. So that's really good to have. But back to the sound, I would say 100% from the sound card. Um, if it's connected to the to the Black Widow, 100% sound card sound comes from the Black Widow. That's, that's what I am hearing um, because of the pass-through. But sound card 100%, motherboard 70%. I would say the BenQ, 50% and then the Dell, I would say 35% in quality. There is a difference between the Dell and the BenQ. Um, the, there's more bass and more fuller sounds from the BenQ, but it's really tinny on the Dell, no bass on the Dell, and you know, it's it's really bad. And the headphones I have, um, Audio-Technica, I believe um, A40, A40X, something like that. Uh, M40X, there you go. And I just want to let you guys know my findings quickly with this Dell um, headphone jack. So if you have better, you have you have better um, experience with yours, awesome. I'm happy for you. Um, just in my situation, from my findings, unfortunately, um, that's the issue. But it doesn't really bother me because I have speakers, I have headphones, I connect to my Black Widow Elite, so that won't be an issue ever for me. Um, but just in case you're buying it, you know, for a monitor and all that stuff, um, just good to know, okay? Okay, so this is to show the console gaming on the HGF monitor. Now, I'm not sure if I stated before in the previous video on how console gaming is not preferable for this monitor, as this is a 144 hertz monitor, and it, you know, excels at doing that and the brightness, but you can do some things to help you and to help uh, make the image look a lot better. All you got to do is select settings, right? And then you go to the right, hit settings. And then under display and sound, video output. Now you, you can only pick 1080p because it's a 1080p monitor. But under video modes, right here, allow variable refresh, refresh rate. Now look what it says. This eliminates screen stuttering and tearing during gameplay on monitors that support Radeon uh, FreeSync 2 technology. You may notice some choppiness while playing game captures when this is enabled. Now I've seen it in other videos where it's supposed to show 120 hertz. It's not showing 120 hertz. It just lets you use the refresh rate um, option. So that is something to consider. Also. See, this, it doesn't show anything. Usually it's supposed to be right here, right under the 1080p. Um, so it's not showing anything here. Let's see here, 60 hertz, nothing. Nothing that shows 120 like a FreeSync 2 monitor would show. So that's something to just to know. Also, under video modes, I mean under uh, the fidelity, right here. It is an 8-bit panel, so you can't change it, but this, this color space, switch it to PC RGB, even if you connect the Xbox. 
you people might say, well, it's going to crush the blacks. It's going to look more, you know, it's going to look too dark. No, it, it's, it makes it look a lot better. The vibrancy does pop. And um, look, look at the green. And if you go to the beginning, uh, the beginning of the menu, it was dark. It was nice. The colors popped. Metro, everything looked awesome. If you select standard, I, right away, I could tell the green looks less popish, and it looks more gray. The whole screen looks gray. You could put it back to PC, switch anyway. It always says that. Don't worry about that. There, right away, it's darker. But if you go back to standard, yeah, it's a lot more grayish, more washed out. Nothing there. Wait, what's that? Uh, nothing. Still allows you to do that. Okay. So let's sit. Yeah, it's a lot more washed out. I mean, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. Now it's PC. Yeah, to me it looks a lot better with PC, but you do have to select FreeSync. Under the options of the monitor, under Setup, oops, right here, FreeSync selected on. If you select off, and if you go back, To the video modes see it won't let you select the um, refresh rate so select using uh, FreeSync will help on using and having the VRR enabled for your games uh, PUBG and all those other ones you could look online on YouTube it looks a lot better with that enabled I wish it would have had the 120 Hertz um, as other ones do have it the FreeSync 2 monitors do have it and I mean, FreeSync is a free technology that AMD has developed, so there's no excuse why this Dell monitor doesn't have it. But oh well, you know, that's not what I got it for. But just in case you want to use this for gaming, it is doable. You know, it is, you can use it for gaming. That's, that's the good thing. Um, of course, I would use it with the PC mode enabled to get, you know, darker blacks and everything looks, you know, more, it pops out more. Um, just want to show a quick video. On this now if I compare this to my BenQ I prefer to play it on the BenQ just again because of the colors when you're gaming you do want the colors um, since you can't get 144 Hertz then I'm gonna get my colors and the brightness is not bad with the BenQ but again just in case you, you do have this monitor that's what you can do to make your uh, console gaming look a little bit better